Good morning, children. Welcome back to Social Science class of e-learning. In my previous videos, we had done chapter number one. After chapter number one, which was related to history, we move on to chapter number two, which is motions of the earth, and it is related with geography. It is a chapter of geography. So in this video, I will be doing with you chapter number two. Let me introduce some of the points which you have to remember, which are related to this chapter number two. We will be learning about the motions of the earth. How many motions of the earth are there? First one is the rotation, and the second one is the revolution of the earth. You all know, children, that this is the picture, the drawing of a earth. It is tilted slightly at the north pole and the south pole. And it is moving on its axis. Slightly it is tilted at the north and the south pole. And it is moving on its axis. This is the axis of the earth. Right children? We have zero degree which is the equator. Equator is that imaginary line which divides the North Pole and the South Pole. It divides the Earth into two parts that is the North Pole and the South Pole. The poles are at 90 degree North and 90 degree South. So we have equator at 0 degree. As we move on further, we have 23.5 degree tropical This way. 
and it is crossing the sun slowly and then it comes from here. So I have shown you this. This is the sun. See this is the sun and this is the earth. It is moving this way, this way on its axis. Right children? So we will be now continuing with the text. Let us go ahead. Motions of the earth. Children, after having the brief introduction of the two motions of the earth, let us go through the text. Have you noticed that the toys that you play with such as tops, discs, rotate on their own axis? You might have seen the top with which you play or the disc, the throwing disc, it rotates on its axis. Similarly, our earth on its axis. You must have taken a ride in a ferris wheel in fairs. While the seats rotate around their axis, they also revolve in a circular manner. See, this is the picture of the ferris wheel, right? Which are most commonly used in the fairs, right? Mele me jaate ho na? To usme ho the wheel mele go round hota na? It is moving on its axis. And it is moving, revolving also around the center. Right? So, this is this example is given here to show you how earth is rotating on its axis and it also moving around the sun. They also revolve in a circular manner. Like other celestial bodies, celestial bodies, the bodies in the space, that is our planets, earth. Sun, the moon, the earth also moves in two ways, rotation and revolution. The earth rotates on its own axis and also revolves around the sun. The moon and earth are constantly in motion. So children, the moon, remember, moon is revolving around the earth. Earth is revolving around the sun. And it is also rotating on its axis. Understood children? So, this is an example, this example to show you that how the earth rotates and it also revolves. So, a ferris wheel in a fun fair. Right children? Now, let us move ahead. The measurement of a, this is a small activity to show that how the sun's rays are falling and how the shadow of the pillar goes on increasing with the length. Right? So this is a small activity which we have to do and I will be doing it and will be sending the PDF to you. Right? You have to write the time, direction and length of the shadow as per the PDF given. Right children? Let us move further. What does rotation of the earth mean? So the main important question here is what does rotation of the earth mean? As the earth rotates on its imaginary axis, the speed of rotation at any point along the equator is approximately 1670 kilometer per hour. So the earth is rotating and the speed is 1670 kilometer per hour. The earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation. So as it is rotating on its axis, it takes 24 hours, that is one day, to rotate on its axis. Not revolving around the sun. Only on its axis it takes one day. Why is the sun seen only during the day and the moon at night? How are days and nights caused? You must probably have thought about such questions. Yes children, how are days and nights caused? And why is the sun seen only during the day and the moon at night? That we will be doing in our second part. See this is the sun and this is the moon. The part which gets the light, it is day. The part which is dark which is not facing the sun 
it is night over here. So this is a brief introduction of how the day and nights occur. So children, till then, read the textbook. Stay home. Stay safe.